Hey, this is Joseph Lebrec, and this is going to be a demonstration of uh, the watch folders or drop folders application that I've built um, on Air 2.0. It uses native process to, um, you know, speak with Handbrake and to use Handbrake to transcode videos. Uh, drop folders itself uses a system of watch and destination folders along with Handbrake arguments to pass those arguments and files and, and stuff like that into um, you know the headless command line interface of Handbrake which is packaged along with uh, drop folders so there's nothing else you have to install aside from drop folders itself. Here I've got um, drop folders already installed on my system but you can see here there's a executable uh, since this is a Windows system native process what you have to do is um, you know, you've got to use either an executable or or whatever, um, you know, whatever specific for Mac, Windows, or or Linux to actually um, get it done because it does integrate so tightly with the operating system. So it's different from a regular .air file. So it's telling us that, hey, you've already got this installed, you know, blah, blah, blah. And you can see that the dialog looks a little bit different from a normal Air application as well. So let's just run drop folders here. And you can see I've got something already created. Let's just delete that. And we'll create a new preset here. So we'll create a demo preset. And this preset, uh, let's pass in some arguments. And the arguments we can pass in, um, let's go here. So these are arguments, the settings for, for Handbrake that we use at the University of Denver. So I'm just gonna copy those. And these are generated from uh, the handbrake GUI. I can pass these in here and, you know, change some things if I want to. So, you know, get rid of the uh, the height parameter there and, and so forth. Um, for watch folders, uh, let's go in here and create a watch folder. So, a new folder, and we'll just call it W for watch, and another new folder, and that'll be D for destination. Okay, so going in here, we can specify W for our watch folder and destination folder. Let's go to D. All right, perfect. And then we'll save this. So any save presets will show up in here, and you can copy these presets if you want. You can delete them. Uh, you can edit them and save them, and so forth and so on. Um, so again, this is made possible with Handbrake. Um, we wouldn't be able to, you know, do any of the transcoding if it wasn't for Handbrake. It taps into that. The only thing that Drop Folders does is sort of the management of these watch folders, destination folders, and argument presets um, that sort of monitor this watch folder and, and does all the, the, the stuff for you. Um, we've got a little about area here that uh, has my contact information and so forth. And then this little guy just toggles the watch folder monitor system on and off. So if you were doing something and you didn't want it to be, you know, monitoring a folder at any time, you can turn that off. But it's on by default. Uh, the process log will contain anything that Handbrake spits back out at us as it's processing these videos. So for a video itself, um, let's go and open up a web browser. And let's just go to archive.org. Oops. Ugh. And let's see. Um, we definitely want some moving images. So let's look at this. You can browse, and you can see there's a ton of stuff here. Um, let's look at vintage cartoons and um, I guess Betty Boop will work. And I want to try to find something sort of. Uh, you know, not that long. I have no idea how long these things are, so let's just pick the first one here. And we're going to download um, this MPEG-4 file. Okay. So let's drop this right there. So there is our MP4. And 
Let's also grab an image file so you can see what happens if you, you know, put in an invalid file type, uh, what happens here. So here's our watch folder. Let's go ahead, select both of these guys, pop them into the watch folder. There they are. So you can see here, uh, immediately, our drop folders application starts its work. It's going through and encoding this stuff. Um, we can see we're at about 7-8% right here. Uh, estimated time is two minutes. So let's wait. Okay, so let's go through this log file and see exactly what got recorded here. So it's beginning the encode, and it goes through and, and does that, and then it exits, and it cannot encode this second video. And it's because it's not a video, right? It's an image. So let's have a look here in my watch folder. You can see there's actually nothing in there. Uh, in my destination folder, we do have the... Uh, the video that was processed, right? Uh, we've also got one extra thing, and that is this rejected files folder. So what's in the rejected files folder? Well, just what it says, any any files that were rejected by, by Handbrake, uh, drop folders will go through and move them into this rejected files folder on the desktop uh, to preserve them, and also to let you know what went wrong. And you can see here I've, I've done a few already, but, um, Basically what we have here is the, the logo. Um, let's get rid of the rest of these guys. So this is the image that we did initially, and it'll do a timestamp on there. And this is what makes each particular file unique, so we don't overwrite anything. And not only does it dump the file there, but it also spits out this log for us. You know, exactly what, you know, is going on here. Um, in this instance, you know, you it's basically no title found. It's an image, so there's there's actually no video here, so it doesn't even try to process it. But it also gives you some information about drop folders as far as you know. Okay, well, where what was the input file? Uh, what was the expected output file here? Um, what were the arguments that were used to process this file? And using all of that, you can go through and figure out, you know, exactly what went wrong with the process. Here it's very obvious, it's a JPEG. We're not gonna be able to process that through Handbrake. But Handbrake should be able to take, you know, uh, at least drop folders should be able to take anything that Handbrake can take. Um, and, you know, basically that's it. It's, it should be, you know, simple to set up uh, as long as you know what you're doing as far as arguments. Um, but, you know, I've been using this for myself and you know, it's very easy to just fire the thing up and then just start dropping video files in there and it processes them, you know, to the very particular specifications that you choose for, for arguments. And you can generate those through the Handbrake GUI. Um, you can, you know, come up with your own through documentation or, or whatever. Drop folders is simply a layer to, you know, control these different presets uh, containing watch and destination folders and arguments associated with uh, each particular preset. And uh, that's it.